In the days before dollar stores dominated the landscape of America, there were the five and dime stores. Being part of an era where things cost much less, these types of stores dominated much of the country. One such store was Ben Franklin, which began in 1927. Sam Walton himself, founder of Walmart, would get his start at a Ben Franklin store. He would carry over this experience to open Walton's later on, which eventually would become Walmart. Much like many dollar stores are falling out of favor today, or are only dollar stores in name only, the Five and Dime and Ben Franklin would decline massively. And today, only a few Ben Franklin stores remain. In this video, we will go to one of the last Ben Franklin stores in America. Hello and welcome to another episode. Today we are going to go to one of the last Ben Franklin Five and Dime stores in America. These stores used to be huge. There was around 2,500 at one point. They went bankrupt in the early 90s, I believe, and they basically went to an exclusive uh, franchise model. So there's a few dotted around the country left, not very many, I couldn't get an exact number, but really just not that many. And uh, we're gonna take a look at one of the last ones in, or in Oberlin, Ohio, and I hope you'll join me. folks signage still just as it used to be five and dime Half of this store has been turned into a bookstore. This is a very big college town. At a small store, drugstore type merchandise. Nothing really particularly special or unique, but still interesting. A lot of office supplies, a lot of stuff catered to college students. It's a little loft up there. So that was one of the last Ben Franklin stores in America. Really besides the signage, not really much that would differentiate it from a normal store, but Nevertheless, still interesting to see. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching.